It's video game time. Ooh, it's time for the video games. Wow. I've got my berry hibiscus herbal tea, and it's I'm ready to fucking map make, bro. You know what I was thinking about recently? I was thinking about, um, there's so many old, like, Disney and Nickelodeon, like, movies and shit that are, where the moral of the story is basically, like, if you have friends, you're not allowed to have life goals, right? Am I wrong about that? I feel like that's the case. Like there's so many movies where it's like, you're supposed to feel bad because, oh, that's an issue. You're supposed to feel bad because like the main character really likes her friends and wants to like, like it wants to, wants them to stay in the hometown because they're all friends. And the main character or like the other characters, the side characters are like, or the main character usually is like, Oh, I've got this big job offer. I'm going to be in a movie or whatever it is. And it's like, will she choose to stay? You know, will, will she choose the corporate greed of living her dreams? Or will she stay in her hometown and do nothing with her life for the sake of one friend? And it's always like, she'll stay in the hometown because that's the right thing to do. Like, mm, is it the right thing to do? Feels to me like maybe, maybe, maybe not the right thing to do. Like maybe the uh, whoever wrote this script is uh, is biased. Yeah, but that's you didn't hear that from me. <laughs> I don't know, man. I uh, I've realized that like there's so many movies that encourage you not to not to do stuff with your life because friends are more important. And it's like friends are important, but you know you you can have dreams. Kessable8, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome. I have just started the stream. And by the way, hi, welcome everybody who's watching uh, <laughs> to more Black Bastion map making. Uh, Demonetize isn't here, so I can do the command. Oh, is there a space? Hold on. There is not a space. There is a space. The, I guess the bot's not working again. Ha ha. Epic. Um... Uh, this, but yeah, this is, um, a Binding of Isaac inspired roguelike map, uh, randomly, gen randomly, gen randomly generated dungeons. Um, I am currently doing a workaround right now because I'm trying to make all of these rooms have an extended little staircase thing here, um, for reasons that are kind of complicated to explain, but essentially... This is too far back for the clone command to pick up because I'm only cloning the interior of these rooms. These are all random rooms. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> um, so anyways, I'm going to real quick clone all this into another random spot. Um, like, like right here. Okay, that I, I was a little worried that I was going to go too far, but it did not. Um, now let me just air replay or all right. I guess I'll just do air replace each each block. Sweetberry bush, air replace, um, polished blackstone bricks. And, and then I'm just going to kill this part because I actually only want the outer stairs. Okay. And then I'm going to do a filtered clone into all of the big square rooms. It's going to be pretty epic. 
positive z, positive x. Am I? I think I'm in the right spot. All right, sick. Then I'm gonna clone filtered nether brick stairs. And I, I probably should have tried it on a different layer. So that didn't work. Uh. All right, what's up, Daniel Morris? Why didn't that work? I would love to know. Oh, now it worked. Wait, what did it do before? Maybe I was too low. I was probably too low. Um, okay, then we're just gonna do that to every layer. Nice. And you. You. Oh my god, I forgot to be playing HSSP. Oh lordy Lou, hold on. We're getting HSSP. See, this is the problem. I I, I have started to rely on demonetize to remind me to do things. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, I can't live like that. Um shuffle, and it's gonna be too loud for a second. Hold on. All right, there we go. There we go. Technalogous. <laughs> okay, then we just have to do it for these ones. Excuse me. This is going to be a little hard because we also have to do it for the inner ones as well. I was just talking to my therapist about Black Bastion, about, you know, motivation and trying to keep myself working on the project. Because um, I, I have therapy on Mondays now. And, um... And... You know, I, I talk a lot with my therapist about uh, map making and because and, and, that's such a major part of my life. And just I was saying, like, this project has been my main project for since, like, early November. And I really, really, you know, I, I've talked about this sentiment on stream, but I really don't want to stop making it. Um, but I was saying to him, I, I, I want... I think I want to actually slow down on it. Or not slow down, but rather, I think there's more to finish than I think there is. Because I actually, I want it to be aesthetically good as well. Um, because this map doesn't, it doesn't look super great, visually. Um, I think the items are fun. I think the mobs are weird. But... All the rooms look the same, you know? And I, I I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing, but they also look boring, and I want to make them not boring. I need to give them some sort of visual design. So at some point, probably in over a month, I want to do a specifically visuals Black Bastion stream, where I just try out different aesthetic stuff. Um... Because that is also actually a very important part of a map, is how it looks. And I often ignore aesthetics because I want to focus on design or, uh, like, gameplay design and mechanics and stuff. But, you know, look at a map like the Bone Zone, right? It's got one nice-looking room in it, and then everything else is essentially monochrome, you know? Um... It's all it's all made out of colored bone blocks. Phantom Dave, Phantom Dave, thank you so much for subscribing with Twitch Prime. I appreciate it. Um, and to those who are watching, 
You can subscribe for free with Twitch Prime. <laughs> Thank you so much, Phantom Dave. How are you doing today? All right. There we go. Thank you. I appreciate it. I am loving making this map, and I also cannot wait to be done making this map. <laughs> um, for a number of reasons. One being that it has taken months of my life, and it will be very satisfying to be done with. Another being that I, I really want to watch people play it. And of course, a third, a, a third reason being that um, I want to make other maps. <laughs> Ooh, that's also a pro tip. Um, okay. No, 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 no. I have to go to here, I think. Yeah, and then... Filtered nether brick stairs. I was I was doing a bit of like just room room loading playtesting with and um, I realized that the big rooms often have connect connectivity issues visually because their connections are actually outside of their clone range so now I'm expanding their connections what's up Zipzock and relate Rose hello hello how long have I been working on this uh, early November early November and I've been planning it since mid-october um, yeah. Um, but also, I haven't, I have only worked on this since then. I have not worked on any maps other than this map since I started making it. So, <laughs> so, uh, and that, I've never done that. I've never gone months without working on another map. Um, so that is hard to deal with because I really want. I've got Miscommunications 2 that I want to make, and I've got uh, Jamp Multiplayer Madness that I want to make. Um, and there's a couple other unreleased titles that I want to make. Um, unreleased slash undecided. Um, okay. Let us... I've got my, my big list, my to-do list of Black Bastard stuff. What's up, Demonetized? Fix door connectivity. Done. Next on the list is kill all saddles. I am very saddle phobic. Um, and so I'm going to kill all saddles. Uh, sorry, gamers. That's just how it be. Um, and I will do it in an arbitrary location that is right here. That's where I'm doing it. Kill at E. Nope. Let's just clear at P saddle. Let's just do that. Easiest way to do it, I think. Um, also, effect at P, or effect give at P saturation. And always. Good. Those are two things I can check off my list. This map will absolutely 100% not be multiplayer compatible. I would rather die than try to figure that out. <laughs> I would, I would, oh my god, no, 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 no. No, no, no. It is the farthest thing from multiplayer compatible. <laughs> um, oh, I also have to make enemies. I want to do a thing where enemies automatically die if they're on spikes. Um... So execute as at e tag equals enemy at at s if block do 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 sweet berry bush run kill at s. So now if I have a sweet berry bush. Oh, thank you, demonetized. Um sweet berry push right if I just summon 
magma cube. That's not gonna do anything. I mean, it'll take damage. Oh, well. Wait. What? Maybe that was a bad example? Okay, I'm gonna summon a, a creeper. Nothing happens, right? But... If I summon a creeper with the tag enemy, which is what all the creatures in the map have, dies instantly. Perfecto. Um, I don't remember if I nerfed Hoggagers yet. I don't think I did, but I'm also not sure how I'm doing that. Oh, you updated map. You don't need to do that. It's it's fine. You, you could just say it's single player. <laughs> um. Okay, list. Make enemies auto die in spikes. Good. Okay, now here's the main thing I want to do this stream. As you can see by the stream title, we're making the death zone, baby. Um, it's, 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 I know it's weird that I'm making the death zone before the hub. I'm not really designing the death zone yet. I'm just, um, like I want to make counters and I want to make, um, oh my God, what is this? Am I getting one of those chunk based lag spikes again? Bruh. Okay. Something with, what's up the dark mystic? Welcome. Okay, um, so there's going to be, you're going to die and you're going to spawn in like the death spot and it's going to be like this like, this sort of like you are dead kind of thing. It's gonna be all wacky. Um, like, I don't know. Yeah, I like warped warped wood as an as an aesthetic for the death zone. Um and maybe you know what it'll be a staircase up out of the death zone into the death lobby our test subject I mean me <laughs> um, maybe you like come up out of the soul soil actually we don't even we don't need the basalt let me okay let me just test out some aesthetic designs it's like a like a sort of coming up out of the soil into the death hub thank you nightbot Why do you stab me? How could you? How could you do this to me, bro? I thought we were friends. Uh, yeah. I should have spaced this out by threes.
I'm honestly, I'm I'm excited for Captain Sparkles to play this one specifically because he's like pretty good at PvP, so I think he'll be able to beat it. Um, and I don't think everyone who plays this map will be able to beat it. I think it's really hard, and I, I'm actually going to try to make it easier because I realized it's super hard. Um, it's it's essentially. Well, demonetize. Do you want to do the map command? I don't. I also. I don't know if I. If I'm gonna do a story yet, because I like stories, but I don't know if like I should even have one in this map because it's not really. That's not really what it's about. It's not a story map, you know. But also, I like stories and I like writing stories, so <laughs> it's hard. I mean, there's like a story, which is that um, I am the map maker and you have to defeat me by beating my dungeon. And then at the end, you literally fight against me. Um, and I, I, I think I'm literally only making it meta. But I make a lot of my maps meta and I don't necessarily think every map needs to be meta. But I'm making this one meta because I want to do a boss fight where the boss is using Minecraft commands to try to defeat you. I think that's super cool. So that's why I'm making it meta. Is for the sake sake of that boss fight. Alright, so this is gonna open up into the death hub. Or maybe I'll I'll make another I could do like, uh, would this be too much? This might be too much. I'll try it, but it's probably gonna be too much. I actually don't, I don't hate it. You know what? I don't hate it. I think it works. You are dead. You have died. Bwahaha. And now you rise from the ashes. Um, I could even light them on fire, but I don't need to do that. Um, I do, however, kind of want to do this. I kind of want to do this where you come up out of the smoke. Yeah, it's kind of funny. I don't know. Um. Smoke goes through anything if it's directly touching the block. Um. Yeah, campfires are weird like that. If you put the block directly above it, the smoke just straight up goes through it. Um. But if you put it two above, it does not. It catches it underneath. But you can do this. And then it's fine. It's a little slower, but it still, um, still goes through. Yeah. So, they wake up within the smoke. So they, uh, this will be the set world spawn, spawn point. No, not the stairs, just this little platform here. And then they come up out. And then this is the death hub. Demonetized, what are you making all these commands for? So the death hub will be like, it'll be pretty small, I think. And there's gonna be a dude sitting here who's got all the info. He's he's got all the he's he's got all the knowledge. Um, he'll be like, let me tell you about how your run went. And then he'll say, You've died this many times so far, and you 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 went through this many rooms, and you killed this many enemies, and these were your stats, you know? Um I think I think that that'll be kind of cool. Um, 
I'll put like a dead tree or something. You know what I'm talking about? Like this sort of like gangly tree of life kind of thing. Maybe I'll make a, a tree, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'll make a tree in like the main hub or something. A cool center tree. Well, it's like the dead tree of life. Like it's it's not the tree of life any longer. Um. Okay, what do we do? Maybe we do, on the side of the main path, we have glass under which there is Soul soil? Or a soul sand, I mean. I don't know, it's just a just a random idea. Probably not gonna keep that. That doesn't look super good. Yeah, I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. Also, I'm not going to use Blackstone. Um, save that for the Bastion. Crimson Hyphae? You know what? No. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to do, but it's not working. Also... This should not continue. It should turn into netherrack or something. Maybe that's what we make the hub out of, netherrack? Well, that looks terrible, so I'm going to undo it. You know, it's fine, because it'll have, it'll be a, a canopy, you know? Oh my fucking god. <laughs> And then it's like, surprise! And then this is the wall. No. Crimson Hi-Fi is hard to use, bro. Obsidian. That this color scheme is very nice. This is a, a very pleasant color scheme. Could I do this? I don't mind that actually. Okay, so this is the death hub.
there will be some stat stat stuff over here and over here and then there will be a return to the main hub right here um and it'll be like a drop it'll be a drop yeah 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 I am not doing that. <laughs> nope. Uh, <laughs> definitely not doing that again. Yeah. Thank you, Bellis. Have a good time at work. You know what? Fuck it. You know what? Fuck it. Um, check this out. Check this crazy shit out, bro. Ugh. doing it way up here so that the drop can be super long when you die you just fall that's that's it that's the answer what happens after death you just fall a bunch um i do want that actually so it'll be like a swirly thing you know like a dropper kind of thing Sexual dropper. Ooh, that's an interesting idea. Ooh, that's an interesting idea. Ooh, 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 ooh. I was just gonna do purple and black, but you know what? Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's see how that looks. Because obviously, I love the vaporwave aesthetic and also the bisexual flag. Um, duh. So. Let's see, let's see if that looks, because I, my, my, my fear is it'll look a little, it, it, it won't look, um, very deathy, <laughs> or I guess life, lifey. Vaporwave is not a, is not really a, you know, it's not a life death kind of thing. It's, okay, for a second I thought I had the colors reversed. So is this going to actually look good? I mean, as if that stopped me in the past when I do this, but still. What's up, Daffy Dilla? Why do I have this in the wrong order in my inventory? So I would do... And then I would do this all the way down with probably just black in, in between. So it would be like fill um or whatever we'll, we'll do it like this. And then we'll Yeah, my fear is that it won't match the theme very well. You know what, though? What have I done? Oh. 
You know what, though? It might actually work. How did I fuck that up so badly? It might actually work. Hold on. I mean, it's a little on the nose, but then again, <laughs> that's kind of my style. <laughs> um, corner. Look, if this doesn't look great, we can just change it. Oh, fuck me. How tall is this? It's 12, right? It should be 12. Okay. So it goes from this corner. I've got to go 12 below, or 13 below. So, uh, 192? Nope, 191? Yes, indeed. And I would just keep falling down, so we would go another 13, so 191, or 14, I guess. It shouldn't be 13, though. It should be 12. Hold on. 191, uh, 178? Nope. It's 177. Yeah, 13, hmm. Wait, wait a second, wait a second. Oh shit, oh right, there's overlap. So actually it should be 179, but that first one should have been 193. Because then I would do this. Yeah, so it should be 193, and then it should be 17, 180. No, not 180. Okay. So I actually want to only go down about. Uh, we'll try. We'll just experiment. So 180 is wrong. It should be one higher. It should be 181. Yes. So, from 193 to 181. So, it goes down 12 every time. So, from 181 to 169. Nice. That's pretty epic. And then, from 169, nice, to 157. Thank you, Nightbot. One forty five, one thirty three, one twenty one, one oh nine. Hell yeah. Excuse me, Jesus. Uh, 109 into 97. Uh, 85. Seventy-three. Sixty-one. <clears throat> um, forty-nine. Thirty-seven, twenty-five, thirteen, and one.
That's sick, actually. That's actually sick. Um, and then the bottom, it'll be, uh, um, the water of new life. And as soon as you hit the water, you teleport to the main hub. You know what, demonetized? This was a good idea. <laughs> oh no, not the piano, dude. What's the song that plays when a piano falls off a bridge? What's the song, dude? I wanna know. What song plays when a piano, when you push a piano off a bridge? <laughs> That's my only qu query in life. And sploosh. Whoa, it's song that plays when you push a piano off a bridge? That's crazy, dude. I never would have guessed. <laughs> we Splash. And you are reborn. That's how birth actually works in real life. Did you know that? You fall down a bisexual tunnel into a pool of water and are teleported into the womb. <laughs> that's, that's life, baby. So, uh, main block for the sides. Not obsidian, it'll be like... Mm. Well, this is supposed to be limbo, it should be... Ugh, I don't know if this is supposed to be limbo or just like the after death zone. Welcome to the after death zone. That's not, that's not right. That color is not correct. That's probably not much better. Yeah. Can you believe this is cyan? This isn't gray. This is cyan terracotta. You died to you unalived. I mean, that's, that's more of an inside joke with Captain Sparkles than it is with me. Nylium. Uh, I can try. Um. Probably Crimson, because it'll... Um, maybe. Let me try warped. The reason I'm feeling eh about it is because it's a little texturous. You know what I mean? It's a little noisy of a texture for for this room. Um. Um. 
smooth red sandstone. I don't know why I thought that would work. That completely changes the vibe. I'm almost tempted to try like bright white, but I don't know about that. Mycelium, uh, I think it'll probably have the same issue as the Nylium. Where is that thing? It's not as bad as Nylium. Um, still though, I don't know what texture I'm looking for, but maybe it would be like a color or a brick, like a, like a nether brick. No. Extra no. Sponge, obviously. Okay, like maybe we're going for vaporwave. We've got the bi flag. We've got this bright blue. What what's vaporwave? Um, like a muted orange? No, that's not right. Probably another blue, actually. Like a maybe light blue concrete. Not concrete. That's too um monochrome. And Lepa Terracotta is not blue enough. All right. Uh, <sighs> why am I so tired? Not a lot of light blue blocks that aren't just like literally light blue X. Blue ice? Is it, oh God, is it weird that I kind of like that? I kind of like that. I kind of like that though. It is weird that I like this, but I like it. No, I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't do that. Maybe I just go soul soil. I mean, it makes the most sense. We can even, ooh, ooh, okay, 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 okay. We could make this soul soil. Um, What am I doing? I'm gonna make this all blue ice, blue ice and then replace it with soul soil. We make it soul soil and we make this a graveyard. We make this a graveyard. And so we'll make, I'll make like a grave model, but for now it would just be like, you know, whatever this, there'll be like gravestones along here. Oh, hello. <clears throat> we can do gravestones. Um, Yeah, 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 yeah. What do people usually do for gravestones, I wonder? I mean, <sighs> for bigger gravestones. You would probably do something like... 
Whoops. For bigger gravestones, you would probably do something like this. You know, something like, or, um, right, you know, but for, I, I'm talking about a small gravestone, so you know what, I have not done this in months, let's boot up block bench, bro, <clears throat> let's boot up block bench, I hope it still works on, str uh, on OBS, mm. Uh, we will, uh, co-opt pixel. All right, properties. I want you to capture block bench, dude. Uh, can I reset your size, please? Hey, that mostly kind of works. Oh, shut up, demonetize. I'm not gonna... We're not gonna... It's it's much harder to accidentally do that in 3D than it is in 2D. Alright, I don't want this to be super complicated. Um... Probably want to be like that thick, probably. That doesn't count. That's the the brimstone symbol already looks like a dick. It's not my fault. Plus, I made it in 2D and then 3D ified it, so. I have an idea, and I want to... How am I going to do this? Um... I think maybe it will be better if I do it flat. Okay, well, let me think. If this just looks like this stone texture, it'll be kind of boring. Um... So, let's open up Pixel. <clears throat> oh, and then I'm gonna have to reset the transform again, because Pixel captures weirdly on OBS. Because of course it does. Demonetized, it's, it's just not. It just fully isn't. Why does it do that? Why? Why are you the wrong size? I don't get it. That's fine. Um, <clears throat> so we're gonna want, it's gonna be like, let me import the stone texture. Mm. 
Mmm. Delicious. Bruh. You're gonna do that after I drink my tea? So I have to drink more tea? That was almost a bad idea. <clears throat> Look for stone, please. So we've got smooth stone and we've got stone. Um, and by the Henzoid, of course, by the Henzoid Discord. So the model is, um, at least one face of it is 16 by 15. So we've got a 16 by 15 face. <clears throat> And then there's another, right, there's another, um, there's another piece of it that is 12 by 4. That's like, here. Um, <clears throat> So this is like, <clears throat> this is the size of our grave. Um, now I brought this because I want to try that. Just take like a, something like this, you know. <clears throat> and if we were to do like. Something like this, where we then did Something like that, maybe. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I have not considered submitting any of my maps or realms. I don't think they're, I think they're probably not polished enough for realms. Um, I mean, my maps are pretty polished, but... At least the more recent ones are, but, um, I don't know. I've, have I thought about it? Yes. But do I really think I'm going to? Probably not. Um... That's annoying. It's still the wrong size. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take the easy way out and I'm gonna do this.
And then we're gonna do this. That's not very good. <laughs> That's not very good. All right, let's try. No, actually. There we go. It's not centered now, but it will be centered in the actual model. You know what, I'm just gonna monochromize this. <laughs> oh wait, Ugh, I'm stupid. No, how could you do this? No, you did it again. That doesn't look super great. The darkness is too dark. It doesn't like read super well. I mean, read in in a different sense of the word than I can read what it says um it looks like a unibrow why does it look like a unibrow why does RIP look like a villager with like with like scars it looks like a villager with scars right this is the unibrow nose eyes and then just like <sighs> nobody's gonna think it though um I'm gonna make it lighter now. That's probably good. Yeah, that looks better. Does it look better than this though, is the question. Let's try them side by side. I like this one. I like this one better. Save this as grave. And then go back to block bench and reset the transformation again. And we're gonna import the texture. <clears throat> No, not that. I 
I sized that correctly, right? I think I did. I hope I did. I did not. Oh, right, I forgot to. <laughs> right, forgot, forgot, sorry. There we go. And then move it half a pixel. There, see, perfect. And then on the sides, I didn't even think about the sides. Uh-oh. Shit. <laughs> Forgot to make side textures. Uh, let's go do that real quick. Oh, I have to reset everything again. No, it'll take like two seconds. I'm just going to make it in here. Hold on. Hold on. I, I'm doing something off, off screen. Give me a second. Hold on. It'll take like two seconds. I just need to get back this stupid block. Bow, 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 bow. Da, 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 da. Ya, da, ya, da, da, da. Da, ba, 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 da, 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 ba, ba. Ba, ba, ya, da, 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 da. How big is this dumb thing? On the side, it is... 11 by 15 and 11 by 4. 11 by 15 and 11 by 4. That's epic. That's actually a gamer. Um, I'm just... Just real quick, resizing a thingy. Excuse me. Um. Okay, wait, I need to think about how I want this to look. So, we've got this trim on the side, right? But the trim, is that gonna extend to the side? It's gonna go like this. It's gonna go all the way up around like that. So the trim needs to extend like that. And I'm just gonna do a dumb workaround. Uh, okay, I'm almost done with this. Oh, that's so annoying. Okay, I'm almost fucking done with this. Um, here, you know what I'm gonna do? But in the meantime, you can listen to this epic music. Wow, it's so cool, you guys. All right, save you. All right, gamers, I'm back to gaming. So, shift, shift. Then for the side, How tall is it supposed to be? 7.5, 7.5? Is that right? I guess so, yeah. Looks, no, that's not right. It must be though. It's too squished.
It's 15 tall. It's 11. This sh this needs to be thinner. Ugh. Okay. Okay. 11, 11, 11, 11, 11. Fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven. Is that correct? I believe it is. I want to think it is. Paste. Oh, that's so annoying. Oh, man. It's because I fucked around with it. Okay, here's... <sighs> Alright. Alright, I'm gonna fix this. I'm gonna fix it again. I will make everything fit in this damn thing. Now that won't fit there. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, 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 oh. Perfect. Oh, and then, oh, baby. Oh, baby. This will fit. It's gonna fit, you guys. It's gonna fit. It's gonna fit. Okay. So, we have to recontextualize everything, but... This... Rotate. Rotate. Now it's like that. Except that's not the right size. Is that the right size? Probably. Think so? Yeah. Hey, demonetize. No re, you know this. All right, all right, there we go. See? Everything's working now. <laughs> See, everything's fine. Just gotta get the pixels lined up on this one and then we're good. I think we've got a grave, baby. Yeah. Yeah, okay, sick. Um now I should right. I should replace this with a, a non-full block, like an anvil or something, but... What block would this make more sense for? 
Honestly, this would make more most sense for like a maybe like a I'll do a grindstone. We're going to do a grindstone. I think I think physically it most closely resembles a grindstone. Wow, this is literally the first block model of this map. I, there are no other block models in this map. It's mostly just all been texture pack work. All right, let's see if that worked. Well, it's, it's facing the wrong way com relative to the grindstone. So I can, I can fix that real quick, but yeah, I mean, boom. Yeah. Let me just real quick rotate it in block bench. me. I'm surprised you remember that. Barely anybody does. Alright, yeah, that makes more sense. Wait. Hello? Does it make more sense? Uh, I, probably. Yeah, I think I think it does. Oh, I have fallen. I have fallen once again. Wow, look at this look at this graveyard, bro. It'll go further back. It won't just be this small. I actually like this. I actually like this a lot. Thank you, Nightbot. We've got ourselves a little graveyard, folks. Kinda froggy, baby. Oh yeah, I'm feeling kinda froggy, if you know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. Maybe some dead bushes, yeah. Let's try it. And you can't put dead bushes on soul soil. So sad, you gamers. So sad. This is very sad. Can we get five likes?
Kind of Froggy is one of those songs that I made where I was like, I, I thought it was good at the time, and then I was like, eh, it's fine. And now I listen to it in, in the future, and I'm like, you know what? No, it's a good piece. Like, Kind of Froggy is sick. Um... I appreciate it more now than I used to. Ooh, this is a populated graveyard. Okay. If I was a good map maker, if I was a good map maker, oh man, should I do this? Oh god, I think I might. Oh no. Okay. At a grave every time the player dies. Oh god, I think I have to do it now. At a grave every time the player dies. Oh god, it's t it's it's too good of an idea not to do, but man, it's gonna be annoying. <laughs> oh god, it's see, I have to do it now because it's just such a good idea. But it's going to be really annoying <laughs> to get working. <sighs> Alright, alright. How's it going to work? Um, every time the player dies, they come there. There's, a, there's some sort of execution command. and Execute, not like they die. I mean, they do die, but whatever. Um, there's armor stands at all of these spots. Every time they die, it randomly selects an armor stand. But it's not as simple as that because some of them are facing different directions. Um, the easy way out is to just make it a random direction, but of course then all of the RIPs would not be facing the middle. So... Solution. Oh my god, wait, no, that solution is terrible. No! Okay. This is my thought process. I'm sorry. <laughs> so. Every three deaths results in a different RIP being added. Um, either a left one, a, a front one, or a right one. Right? That means I need to have an equal amount of each one. Oh god, that means I have to have an equal amount of each one. Oh god. God damn it. Why did I have that idea? Uh <laughs> No, I I know how to do it demonetize. I'm trying to think like how do I want to do it cuz Obviously the armor stands would be tagged with whatever direction it's supposed to be facing. Um Okay. And and it'll probably, let's say we do 15 on each side, so it caps out at 45. And after 45, it doesn't count anymore. How many is this? I'm just going to destroy all these. It didn't count them, whatever. <laughs> Great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, uh, 14, 15.
Um, the armor stands can't be facing the right direction already. I mean that they can, but like, I would it would be it would be harder to select them based on which direction they're facing than it would be to select them based on um. Because when you put down the grindstone, you have to indicate direction. It, it can't just be, like, whatever direction this armor stand is facing. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. That looks pretty solid, I think. So, here is what I'm thinking. Every death. So, okay. It'll be something like this, right? You got three sets of commands, okay? And this set uh, randomly sets one of those. Uh, this set randomly sets one of those. This set randomly sets one of those, right? On your first death, it activates this set. Then... Okay. It's a scoreboard thing. It's a scoreboard thing. It, it cycles through a cycle of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. If you're on one, it does this. If it's a, you're on two, it does this. If you're on three, it does this. Once it gets to three, it resets back to one. That way, it does one of each of these each time. Okay? Scoreboard. So it'd be scoreboard objectives add um, grave counter dummy. Um, first time the player does the tutorial of the map, uh, grave counter will be automatically set to, it'll set grave counter to one. Because I'm going to make the tutorial mandatory. Um, all right. All right. Oh my god, I... <sighs> Alright, here, here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. I'm about to add another 45 armor stands, and that's a lot of armor stands, and the thing is... Execute as at E type equals armor stand. Run scoreboard players add... or players, add Henzoid, luck one. My luck is currently zero. Now it's 505. Do you see what I'm saying? There are 505 armor stands already in this map. And I'm about to add 45 more. And I just don't think it's... Oh, God, is it worth it? <laughs> It'd be such a cool visual, but also... <laughs> this is the fucking dilemma of the century. Is, do I want to do cool grave tracking? You know what? Yes, I do. Yes, I goddamn do. And I'm going to. And I'm going to open MC Stacker right now to prepare an armor stand. Uh, yeah. Because, at the end of the day, I will use way too many armor stands to get what I want. And there's nothing you can do about it. So, the tags for the armor stand will be... Grave left, grave center, and grave right. Or grave R, grave C, and grave L. I'm just making it real quick.
So, Grave L. Whoops. All right, now we're going to do Grave C. Fifteen feels like a lot more than it is, you know? But also, dying fifteen times in this map is it will take a very long time unless you, like, farm death. And there's no benefit to dying other than getting a sweet, cool new gravestone, so... I don't see any reason anyone would do that. Alright. Grave R, baby! I actually think this is a sick idea. Um, keeping track of death with gravestones. That's such a cool idea. MC Stacker is fantastic. I literally, I know I say this often, I literally learned everything I know about commands by playing with MC Stacker for like three years. I just like learned command formatting by just seeing how things changed when I played with them in the in the MC Stacker thing. UI. Alright. Let's okay. So this gravestone is facing north. So it would be execute as at e tag equals grave l at at s run set block grindstone facing north there we go <laughs> I forgot you could put them on the walls. All right. That's very cool. Mm, that's very cool. Let's make the wall void. Let's make it pitch black. It's a graveyard in the middle of nowhere, bruh. In the middle of the vast emptiness of space. Bro, I love the vast emptiness of space. Who doesn't?
Oh my god, that's very creepy. It's like all these souls. It kind of looks like the Death Stranding uh, souls, you know? It's like actually kind of creepy. <laughs> um, let's do this again. I want to get a screenshot. Epic screenshots. So you start down here. You run up. You see a new gravestone. And then you are reborn anew. Love it. And that, gamers, is what happens. Is what happens when you die. Uh. I am working on making a system that keeps track of how many times you dies, you die, and places down a grave in this graveyard. Execute at, at e tag equals grave, run, set block, air. So, now let's make the actual death counter. Do I even- I have a, a death scoreboard, right? Song time speed, health block, grave counter, HP stats, runtime error, vampire check. I do not. Scoreboard. Objectives. Add. Deaths. Death count. Actually, I should I should re redefine um uh grave counter as death count. Scoreboard objectives remove death uh grave counter. So it'll be like, um, execute if score. do like a by the way force load and cool so it'll basically say Execute if no 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 at at e tag equals uh, grave r no l limit equals one sort equals random 
run set block do 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 um whatever i just did l is this um c is east and then r is south Okay, that should already be working. So essentially, spawn point, kill. I have died. Now I come up out of here. And this one grave. All right, let's die again. There's two graves. Die a third time. Sick. Uh, I understand why that didn't work. And it's because I need to save that. Yeah. All right. Gonna scoreboard players set and zoid uh, grave counter three. There. Now it's back to zero. So if I die again, I should get another left one. What did you just learn, demonetize? Then a center one. And then a right one. Yeah. A hundred and eighty seconds? Cause that's very wrong. Oh, look at this. Oh, I'm it works. Oh, I'm so happy. It wasn't even that hard to do, actually. And so after 45 deaths. Uh, after 45 deaths here, I'm just going to, I'm just going to do this scoreboard players, add Henzoid grave counter one. Shit. I forgot something. I forgot a very important detail. I forgot a very, very important detail. Um, yeah, that is a minute off. Uh, okay. <sighs> Ooh, how am I gonna do this actually? I guess the easy way to do it would be to untag the grave. Or, yeah, okay. Actually, yeah. So what we're gonna do... Here's how we do it. Scoreboard players, reset, hemzoid. And... Grave counter. And what we're, excuse me, what we're going to do is we're going to say tag equals grave R, but we're also going to add in tag does, or equals not done. Or tag equals not graved. Right, that's all of these. And then we're just going to have a thing constantly running that says execute as at e tag equals grave if block uh, at at s if or tag equals grave 
Tag is not equal graved. If block do 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 is grindstone run tag at s add graved. Easy. So now it should give me a new one every time. Look at that, beautiful. And all I'm doing is adding one to my death counter. Did I fuck something up? I guess not. Now it's full. I guess it's full now. Execute at at e tag equals graved run set block. I'm just gonna do a, a reset button right here. Set Bhutan. And now. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It is enough to make a grown man cry. So there should be what, five in each of these? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, one, two, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And the reset. Nice. I could do something special for 45. I just make like one big grave or something. <clears throat> um. Um. All right, all right, stay with me. Stay with me for a second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna raid somebody. Stay with me here. Don't you fucking leave. Don't you dare leave. Don't you dare leave for this raid. Bro, bro, don't you dare leave. We're raiding and you're coming with, okay? We're all, it's gonna be epic, epic gaming, okay? But we're gonna raid. Do I raid Lucagen again? I think I do. I think that's what's happening. Is I'm gonna raid Lucagen again. Um. All right. Behave yourselves, okay? Behave. If you're watching this on YouTube, hi. You you probably most people don't watch to the end of the vods, but I don't care. Subscribe. Come watch on Twitch. Join my Discord. Epic. Okay. All right. We're raiding. It's gonna be poggers, dude. It's gonna be poggers. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much, everybody, for coming to the stream, and bye.